One thing I want to get into, and maybe John, you're, you're the best person to answer this, is like, what are some of the myths? What are some of the things that people get totally wrong about either electrolytes or hydration or this space in general? Yeah, so firstly, like, that's a huge question because nutrition as a, as a field is so hard to get a clear result from anything that you change. There are so many variables in your body at any given moment, and no one, I think, is able to run a perfect experiment on themselves or on a large group of people. So granted, all of the academic research data we base our product on is uh, what I would call systematic reviews and meta-analyses. So we will look at multiple different academic studies and pull out the individual results from them. How good was their statistical analysis? You know, how, how big was the sample size? And from that, draw our own conclusions. And that's part of our product development process. But in terms of hydration specifically, I, I think the, the myths are um, <laughs> that they are, they're out there in a big way. There's the eight cups of water, of course, which is the one that everyone thinks about. I don't really view that as a myth. I think it's pretty good guidance in that when you hear a lot from customers as we do, you hear about the extremes. And there are, people, there are these people on the very extremes who perhaps are not accustomed to kind of listening to the signals their bodies are sending them that say like, hey, you're thirsty, you need to drink. Or they just aren't kind of tune, attuned to them in a way that they interpret them correctly. So my example would be, you know, often when you feel hungry, it's actually thirst. And thirst is hitting before hunger. If you eat, you're still gonna feel hungry because you've interpreted the thirst incorrectly. And so that, that's like a, a good example of a really simple signal your body sends you that many of us, you know, I'm sure even now running a hydration company, I'm still guilty of it on a fairly regular basis of reading that signal wrong and eating something when I should just be drinking something. So I think really rather than pointing, like rather than looking so much at the myths of the space, the way I look at it is it's getting people in a state of mindfulness about the signals their body is sending them. Can you give us a science behind this? You know, we've all heard of electrolytes and, and especially like with Gatorade and whatnot, but like why are electrolytes so much better for your body to absorb the, the water or the hydration? When you drink water, you absorb water as well. The process is passive. So water is moving across your the lining of your digestive system into your bloodstream passively via the process of osmosis. When you add the right blend of electrolytes and a little bit of sugar, um, there's actually a pump system or mechanism in the lining of your digestive system that allows you to actively move the electrolytes into your bloodstream, which draws more of the water across that membrane. So you're able to hydrate faster and absorb the water earlier in the digestive system rather than later. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.